get out of here. That's, oh. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Good afternoon. This is Deb Amlin for the New York Times, and welcome back to Heroes, Comedy Heroes. Yeah. Yeah. Here's how magicians talk. Wow. That's, That's what we're doing. Oh. Wow. We are going to be feeding Sam sugar uh, and see how much it actually takes for him to lose his ability to solve. Um, right. This is science. We're doing this for science, Sam. Good afternoon, this is Deb Anlin for the New York Times and welcome back to Crosswords Live. Uh, we have a really tricky puzzle for you today, but first I'd like to introduce my uh, solving buddy, Sam Azursky. How you doing, Sam? Doing quite all right. It's uh, we, We've got a fun puzzle on our hands today. We uh, do. I'm looking forward to it. Absolutely. Before I want, we get started, uh, I wanted to just say that uh, our guest for today, Pat Oswald, uh, is having technical problems and he won't be able to join us today. We're really sorry about that. Uh, we hope he can join us in the future. So today, you guys are going to be solving with Sam and me. Please, the more guesses, the merrier. Yes, Sam so, and so me. You That's don't have Sam to hear our right. banter, That's as I always say. <laughs> uh, we have a lot of people who are already showing up and saying, well, we have, a, it's funny, it's fairly evenly split between this was a fun solve and this puzzle made me I mad. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of, we kind of predicted that, didn't we, Sam? Yeah, some of, some of our all-time favorite New York Times crossers on the editorial side have just that kind of reaction. And, you know, we expected it from this puzzle. We know that not every crazy gimmicky thursday puzzle is going to be for everybody but that's no. okay because there's still something we hope that you enjoyed from this puzzle and i think this is going to break a few brains and i'm always excited for I, that as long i as think fun. so too when when we explain exactly what's going on here today's puzzle is by alex eaton solners and he's uh you know he's a he hasn't been constructing for that long but he's already a veteran of the new york times crossword <laughs> isn't he sam and many, many other venues for that matter. Alex is just crazy prolific. Talk about some meteoric rise. And especially in the Thursday, the tricky, crazy, mind-blowing Thursday crossword game. This is his 46th puzzle for the Times, his 40th wow. daily crossword. And you know what? 16 of those puzzles, including today. So a good 40% of his daily crosswords have been Thursdays. So That's this is quite just a another example of his work on display. I'm excited for it. Absolutely. Um, we uh, we normally look for gimmies to get started in, even in a Thursday puzzle. In fact, I think that's the best way to get started. Um, I, I think that we usually start with some things like fill in the blanks because mm -hmm. your brain tends to fill in that kind of information, even if you don't want it to. <laughs> um, but at one across, we have a fill in the blank that if you are a Spider-Man fan, you will know was Otto Octavius. Otto Octavius, a.k.a. Dr. Octopus. Exactly. That's right. And, it, you know, if you're not a comic book person, but you're just more into... TV and movies in general. We've got actress Anne with four Emmy nominations. Sometimes you just know the name, right? This is going to be Anne Mira. There you go. <laughs> so, you, you, sometimes, sometimes the name, it, even on a Thursday crossword. I mean, what else are we going to do with this? There's no tricky wordplay afoot. Um, we have we have some people who are already uh, putting their uh, answers in the comments. Kevin Hart and Kay Heldman uh, say that five across is gins. Beef eater and yep, Bombay Sapphire, indeed. No doubt. <laughs> Thank you gin. for that. Um, I thought this was you. You can tell that you know as current as we try and keep our crossword. Um, that we had a few weeks lead time on this one because. The, the 2021 Super Bowl host city we did get right oh, is Tampa. But these are all nice winners way to waffle on the clue. What's that? <laughs> nice way to waffle on the clue. I just it think it could have been They're the champions. It would have been now. great if you'd said winner. <laughs> What's that? 
That's right. Chris Butko is saying Tampa. Freak Lunchbox is saying Tampa. Yeah, <laughs> everybody's in for Tampa. Marilyn Johnson is with us, and she says that 13 across is cran. Indeed, cran apple, cran grape. Is that ocean spray trademarked? I guess that still helps me with that. I guess it is. I no guess kidding. it is. And uh, Liz Plowman is with us. She says eight down is three, as in the honorific three. Honorific yes, from right. Sanskrit, indeed. Um, I liked this one, Deb. 16 across, the big uh, easy. And it's an informal clue. You know, it just kind of has some nickname. So the answer is probably going to be informal as well. I, th so, I think you're right. I had NOLA for that one, as in New Orleans. I like that, Nolans, indeed. Nolans. Now, some people might have gotten confused by that because, in general, if NOLA, NOLA is actually an abbreviation of New Orleans, New Orleans <laughs> um, and they might say, well, there was no abbreviation indicator in the clue. But I think you nailed it when you said uh, it's not really about abbreviations, it's about uh, informal terms, which is also a matching rule. Exactly. And you know, Deb, it's all a learning curve too, because you might see a tag like, you know, informally or for short earlier in the week, so we could make it easier. This is just, be we, we just left off any sort of tag here because it's Thursday by now. We wanted to make this a little harder. Uh, you as a solver at this day of the week, know that this is informal. So the answer is going to be informal too. So just right. rationing it up a notch is off. And, and for those who are just starting with Thursday uh, puzzles, even if it is a little tricky for you, know that there are uh, gimmies sprinkled all over the puzzle always. so that uh, there will always, always, always be a way in. I mean, how uh, about this one, Deb? A stooge. Three letters. What uh, else is it going to be? Right? Uh, Deb? <laughs> you want to be fair enough? <laughs> Uh, that's going to be Mo. And you know what? Even if we thought it was Deb, we can check it with a crosser like here, filmmaker here, here. Efron. Right. And we know that's going to be Nora. So there's Mo. So, there you go. Boom. We have we have so many people um, throwing things in. So uh, <laughs> that puzzle guy says, and Mira, right in Sam's generation there. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, look, I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm just showing that I'm a man of the world. OK, you, a man of culture. I like that. You know what? That puzzle guy and Mira is universal. Exactly. As far as I'm concerned. <laughs> um, so we have people who are guessing, uh, agreeing with gins and Tampa. Uh, let's see. Uh, where else should we go? Where we're. Deb, um, do, do you know who wrapped rhyme pays? I do. <laughs> I'm sh I'm sure you do. Who, who That's going to be iced tea. See, there we you like go. we like a we 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 like a good amount of variety in the puzzle, from Nora Ephron to iced tea. There There's you go, and Ann Mira, uh, Freak Lunchbox, which is a great username, says four down will be on Earth. Let's see where we are. Where are we? Well, we're in Crossroads Live. We're on Twitter. We're on YouTube. Speak for yourself, Freak Lunchbox. <laughs> I want another planet right now. Yeah. Um, we are on Earth, I hope. Um, how about meet cute? I thought this was a nice fresh clue for a Thursday that we can probably knock out with enough yeah. letters. A meet you know, cute in a romance film, EG. Well, the EG is what helped me. At first, I thought yeah. the meet cute was going to be one way that they meet cute in a romance film, but mm. the EG tells me that we're looking for a category. Exactly. This is all about following those clues. Into. And that would be, in films, that would be a trope. A trope, indeed. A meet cute in a romance film is an example of a trope. And that's exactly how you can read that clue right. Well exactly. done. Exactly. And Freak Lunchbox has that. Liz Plowman says, seven down is nods off, which is a great Let's entry. See. Oh, that really hits <laughs> home. Let me tell you. Doesn't make it through a lecture, say, is nods off. Nice one there. Um. There you go. We got some theater honors. There's a lot of showbiz in this puzzle. You know that? It, there really um, is. But that's do we okay. know this? Where, where are you? I think that's probably Obies. Like Obies, the Obies indeed. We're off Broadway. Um, ends in an S there. The plural in the clue, plural in the answer. That's another way you can, you know, just help yourself gain toe holds in those puzzles. Yep. E V A C S uh, says five down is Gaia. G A I A. 
Mother to the Titans is Gaia. You know what? It can be sometimes it's tricky because sometimes it's spelled with an E, though I'm it glad you guessed be. the right spelling off the bat. So we Mother have to Earth deal with a tough crosser. Yes. Absolutely. Artie Artie says 14 across is acorn. And can I tell you that was one of my favorite clues? That's that's for the klaxon there, Deb. That's I like in a nutshell. <laughs> Hilarious right? issues, right? Because an acorn is a nutshell and inside is a baby oak. Indeed. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah, we just we just like playing with our words. That's what this yeah, job is all about. We want you to have fun too. Exactly. Lori agrees with iced tea at six down. Chris Butko says one down is Occam, as in Occam's oh, razor. Another one. These and these that was awesome. Brutal, brutal question mark clues. So rate you read a phrase like this at face value, like a razor handle. What's the handle of a razor called? Right. However, and it could be the part away. you grasp. Mm -hmm. but it could also be handle in the sense like it's a name exactly a name attached to a certain razor so that's going to be occam's razor <laughs> absolutely have... and uh oh we have a lot of people agreeing with iced tea and acorn if i don't call on you please forgive me the <laughs> the uh the um, the comments come through very very quickly, so I'm trying. I'm just trying to keep up. Hey, it's um, good we have a lot of comments. Less talking for us. Exactly. Valeria Silvestri is with us all the way from Italy, and she says she knows what Nolita means. Oh yeah. Is Where yep. is no? So there's Nola. Is no? Is Nolita little Nola? No, I'm ignore that. I, um, yeah. <laughs> um, Kay Heldman has a good guess at twenty eight down. Uh, they see. say it's Elms. California is to us. We're, we're back taking our SATs, right? Yeah, it's a flashback for me. <laughs> but you know what? You still know how these work. They're analogies. So trees in California are palms. Trees in New England are elms. And it, you know what? It's a nice fresh take on a clue. We could have just said New England trees, but it's kind of boring for a Thursday, don't you think? <laughs> um, what else do we have? May Day Celebrate. Who do we celebrate in May that starts hmm. with Who do we celebrate? Deb, Let's for you, see. is that moi? I I think, yes, that would be moi, in fact. And uh, just a shout out to my kids. It's not too early to start thinking about gifts. <laughs> that so. leads us right to the answer, which is mom. Mother's Day exactly. in May. Three there letters. you go. Boom. And happy, happy Mother's Day out there to anybody who's ever loved a child. <laughs> shout, so. out, shout out to all the mothers doing dealing dealing with you know these these wild times right now kids home from school oh et yeah i know my mom's having a rough go with my teenage brother so <laughs> yeah shout out shout out to all the parents who are homeschooling right now Artie already says 15 down is neville and says it's a neville. great book neville shoot who wrote a town like alice indeed i like that neville and novel have the same consonants you just need to change the vowels in some way. exactly so exactly. now that V should actually really help us with 21 Ooh, across. Which YouTube mass support. Um, we, we know this one. <laughs> we <laughs> we do. We, we probably focus on it a bit too much now. Right. That's well, going to be our know, views. For people who don't know, we simulcast, in fact, and I'm going to make up a word for a second. We trimulcast Ooh, on Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch. And uh, we're very flattered that people are watching us from all three platforms. Uh, so the answer, yes, is views. Views. Uh, wow, we have so many things going here. A lot of people are agree with Acorn. Valeria Silvestri says Apparats. Oh, Ooh, nice one there. And that's a tough that one. That is. I know I've gotten some feedback from allowing this in Spelling Bee, actually. A very marginal really? call. I, I know it's a toughie. But, yeah. Um, for those of you who don't know as well. Right. For those of you who don't know, uh Sam is the editor of the spelling bee. So uh <laughs> don't tweet at wordplay. It's tea at the I can't time. help you with anything. <laughs> yeah. I'm guilty as charged. That's a 15. Right. Um, uh let's see. Olivia Chu says Occam made her smile. Um uh, <laughs> Marilyn Johnson agrees with Neville. I'm just scrolling. Freak lunchbox says I find the most brutal clues are in your Saturday puzzles, Sam. Wow. I try. I, I'll be honest. I'm working on, I'm cluing up a Saturday, what, what I at least think is a Saturday right now. And uh, I'm going to send it to Will in a bit. Uh, so oh. there should be another in the pipeline at some point. But uh, That's right. Now, that puzzle guy says he's starting to think something funny is going on at 17 across. 
Yeah, wait, what what a pratfall may be done for. Um, uh, the, oh, and these these squares, I'll, I'll highlight away from this. These they squares are, are shaded. Out. Huh. You know what? what? Let's come back to that. We don't really have enough information to figure it out right now. Nicole Xavier says uh, 64 across is newt. Let's hop. Uh, uh, see, look at the game is. Newt. Even if they aren't in the part of the puzzle you're working on, you know how to fill in that blank if you oh, yeah. follow Absolutely. that fantastic piece of where to find them. Uh, Newt, it's a fresh way of cluing Newt, too. We could have done the animal. Um, right. Miles Lobdell agrees that there's a pattern to the grayed out squares. Phil mm -hmm. Avengers says 56 across is insect. Let's see. So I like, so bug in insect is in bug are, you can equate them nicely. Our cat. Yes, you can. Is that, we have eight letters here. Yeah, I don't think insect would fit, but that's a great guess, Phil. It's a perfectly cromulent one. It really say. is. Um, and Kathy O, you didn't miss anything. That was the first one. So keep, uh, keep those guesses coming, though, because that's important. We can't get anywhere in the puzzle without making those guesses. So never absolutely. feel bad about taking a guess that doesn't work. Uh, absolutely. We, there is that, we like to say that's what the uh, eraser and the delete key is for. You can exactly. try again. Exactly. Um, a lot of people are saying the 30 down is semi. Let's see. We have an M there. Match before the final is a go. semi. Indeed. Nice Match job, before. everybody. Well done. Uh, let's see. Um, Liz Plowman says 19 down is Fife. I know we're skipping around a lot, but... Vassal's plot of land, He's... indeed. Peculiar looking yeah. word. I think I had that in a B just the other... Or that's in today's B. Oh, I'll, I'll stop talking Ooh. now. <laughs> spoiler alert. Spoiler. Okay. Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> Uh, Dougish1954 says 36 across is rim. What a swish misses is the rim, indeed. Nothing yep. but net. Check that um, <laughs> Freak Lunchbox says people are always miffed at spelling bee. <laughs> hey, me, me too. Right. <laughs> yeah. um, because we do the best we can. Uh, and Puzzle Guy says now I get it. Lori now Fife. An aha moment. That's what we strive for. <laughs> um, one thing I just wanted to point out that I think is kind of peculiar here, Deb. Notice yeah. as we're, so I, I guess I should backtrack even more. If you're just joining us Crossroads Live for the first time, welcome. That's awesome. Absolutely. Every Thursday puzzle has a theme. And usually that theme is found in the longest across answers. Probably these four long answers with the shaded squares. There's huh. six shaded squares in each and one thing that just catches my eye right now deb is like mm -hmm. there's an e right there and an e right there and an i right there and an i right there, right there. there. f right there, there right f right there. what if we put a d in at the first square for is 18 down let's try and let's try that is if this like you know duplication maybe we can even put an l error again this could just be a hunch we could be Completely we could be totally wrong. off track. We I, have a lot of people who are uh, still saying, um, let's see. Okay. Uh, we have 27 down. Kevin Hart got lemmas. Lemmas. I love that great, word. Great. Yeah. Dilemma. Trilemma. Trilemma. You know, if the puzzle is giving, you know, giving you lemmas, just make lemonade out of it. Exactly. Exactly. Sorry. <laughs> I, I like that one a lot. Our producer's head just hit the desk. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac, don't don't quit the stream yet. Sorry, Isaac. Um, um, <laughs> yeah, to... I think he's got the theme. That's great. Marilyn, I'm sorry, Dawn Up North and a couple of other people have said 37 across is CDC. Mm, CDC. I'm quite glad that we just chose Headquartered something for Headquartered in Atlanta. Yesterday. And it's that HQ apostrophe d is an indication that uh we're looking for an initialism yeah that's actually deb that's a really good point again just another way just being able to read these clues correctly mm -hmm. is half the battle when you're solving crosswords it's not about how much you know sure if you know oh, Amira, about how Neville, it you know. <laughs> what's that sometimes it is like i've done some i've done some puzzles where i've learned a lot I mean, it's fun know. to learn new things, right? It is, it really is. But I will tell you that there is a language to the clues. You are correct. And um, you once you learn a couple of really easy rules for solving, your solving ability, not you, you 
in particular, Sam, but, you know, people who are just starting uh, the wonderful hobby of, of solving crossword puzzles will find that your solving skills go up immeasurably just by knowing a few of these rules. And the more you learn about them, uh, the better you'll do. Exactly. Like I despise the phrase practice makes perfect, but in crosswords, it really is true because you're yeah. going to become familiar with these clues that you see time and time again, or these conventions you see time and time again. It just works well. Your brain will become wired to how crossword clues work. It's truly exactly. a phenomenon. Now, Marilyn Johnson says 24 down is, thinks it might be bifocal. Bifocal, by golly, wow. wow. That would be an interesting title. I, <laughs> I, think, I think that if there was ever, thank you for that, Marilyn, and that's wonderful. I don't know if Marilyn's looking at the clues. It's a hit by the stylistics. Um, and I apparently now, if uh, there are any glasses manufacturers out there who would like to uh, license a song you know, as their new theme, bifocal by golly wow is now. Available. I would actually, I would hire Marilyn because I, I think you could have a lot. really catchy jingle. I, also, I, 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 sh I should not be poked. I, th I think all guesses are all guesses are good guesses. Absolutely. So, I'm sorry. I don't mean I don't mean yeah. to make fun of you, no. Marilyn. I, I, know I love you. I'll, I'll, I'll love here. Yes, um, uh, but we're gonna try again. We'll come back to it. We'll come back to that. Evia ACS is 52 down. Might be Atlas. 52 down. Rockefeller, again, just going with your gimmies, even though this is wide open. Rockefeller go. center statue, five letters, yes. is Atlas. Nice Atlas work. is Atlas, for those of you who are not in the New York area or may not even be in the United States, Atlas is a huge statue that is at in front of the building uh, 30 Rockefeller Center, which is where SNL is filmed. Uh, and it he looks down on the Rockefeller Center ice skating rink. Mm-hmm. So uh, that was that's a very New York centric uh, entry and clue. We we have uh, we have them from time to time in the New York Times, you know. In what the New York Times, although it's it's changing. It's we, it there's changing. a lot of stuff in there for people from all over. Indeed. Uh, lunchbox thing sixty three across is road. Way to go! You know what? That's super that's literal. Job. Yeah, it's it really is. Question mark, but it's so literal. A road is literally a way to go. So you know. <laughs> yep. And uh, Marilyn Johnson says 43 across is Maharishi. That's a really wow. good. Nice work. Good and guess. I love this clue too. I love clues like this that tell me something about the yeah. wonderful world of language of the many languages out there. Um, I think this is just a cool fact to talk away if you didn't know the translation. Absolutely. Um, Nicole Xavier and Liz Powell, um, Plowman and probably some others because it's going really fast now. <laughs> Down is dam, D A M. It holds water, indeed. Yeah. Literally nice. so. A dam holds water from continuing <laughs> to flow in the river. That's um, right. I just wanted to highlight 51 down, Deb, because you talk okay. about like how, how someone, my, how did someone my age or, or a decade ago get into crosswords from clues like these? You know, yeah. my mom would just say, like, hey, what's the home planet in Star Wars where Queen Amidala lived? And I'm like, oh, I got you. I've never done a crossword before, but it's Naboo. Um, solving together is fun. That's, that's my point. Kind of hard this, was, this was not just meant to be self-fulfilling. I'm just, you know, you never know when someone you're solving with, someone of a totally different generation, background, right. can just give you but that cool assist that you need to break through. And that's why we solve together, right, Sam? Because exactly. together we make one good brain. Almost. Almost. <laughs> yes. Um, anyway, and we and we hear that a lot from our solvers. Some people solve with their parents. Some people solve with friends in a group chat. Uh, you know, I think it's terrific. It's a great way to socialize over a puzzle. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Um, let's see. Look at this. Uh, clue, Nancy Burkhaus. Which one? I was just going to say, I feel like we got to start pondering 45 <laughs> down, which is the question one might yeah. ask when looking at a banana taped to the wall. I mean, what's the first thing that jumps to, that comes to mind? Is it? <laughs> what's it doing there? <laughs> yeah, right. Or, or any, any, anybody had lunch yet? Which is actually what <laughs> exactly. happened. To it. Um, I would say, is it art? Is it art? And you know, I think a clue like this I'm just one perspective here, but I think a clue like this shows that 
we intend this crossword solving experience to be humorous at times. We hope we, we hope this gave you a sense of joy upon figuring it out and didn't seem absolutely, absolutely ludicrous or I guess poking too much fun. Um, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> Tom McMahon says Rex Parker said this puzzle was easy. Now I hate him even more. Well, listen, no, no comment. Yeah. No, no comment. comment. Next, next uh, question. Let's see. Uh, NES Berg says, I get my nine and seven year olds to do minis. I'm getting them into crosswords. That's fantastic. That is That's how really, I started. You oh. can never you know, can never start them too young. And if you uh, would like a, another puzzle, there are a lot of teachers who use spelling bee in the classroom to warm up for the uh for the their classes for the day and they're fairly young i mean i've seen first second third graders you know people who who are just learning to read learn how to make words out of the letters using spelling bee it's both warm so, it's both heartwarming and personal to me it is like this seriously uh valer um, uh, let's see nicole xavier says 66 across if you want to jump down there is toss toss chuck is a verb to toss to chuck very good. And Valeria Silvestri and a couple of other people have said that 53 down is woods. It could be. So I, I like woods. The thing is, yeah. I, I'm, don't I'm know. not sure that W works with the crosser. Hmm. And usually you say woodwinds, right? So. Right. Now that, that, uh, that one, uh, 53 across. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. 50? Which one's oh, 50 across. Sorry. So I'm uh, the numbers are really small on my screen. Uh, change in the Middle East, say, is a great clue that you should brutal, definitely brutal, read brutal. at least twice before you try it. <laughs> because it doesn't have a, a question mark, but it is wordplay. Exactly. We are off for our wordplay, especially, exactly. on, a especially on a Thursday. Now, change in the Middle East is something we all hope for, mm -hmm. but it's not that kind of change. We're talking <laughs> about money right? Coinage. And the change in the Middle East, say, would be a dinar. Exactly. A uh, contributed. We've, so that gives us, so our orchestra section, that gives us is reeds. But again, woods or even winds, perfectly cromulent guess, you know? So that's, yeah. <laughs> uh, you, you got to make those guesses. So. That's right. You know, and it's, and that was very close. It really was. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of, oh, Kira Lise is waving at us. Hi, Kira Lise. Hi, um, Let's see, Sid's Grids is with us. Hey, hey. Sid, that is the constructor, Sid Sivakumar. Hi, Sid. I really enjoyed this theme and loved seeing 43 across as bonus fill. What, what's Excellent. 43 across? That's, my, that's uh, oh, Mahari. Mahari. Yes. Thank you, Sid. Sid, you're going to know this right now on a, a live stream right now. I actually, I get to edit one of your puzzles tomorrow. So uh, you've got one coming up in the queue. Uh, that's a fun little teaser. Anyway, I won't say anymore. I've got loose lips. <laughs> there you go. Uh, let's see. Uh, Robin CU says, where's Patton Oswalt? Uh, Patton had some technical difficulties today, so unfortunately he couldn't join us, but we're hoping that uh, he'll join us uh, one day in the future. We're sorry mm -hmm. about that. You're stuck with us. <laughs> um liz plowman agrees on reads and um let's see uh we have some people commenting on whether or not the banana really is art and i won't get into details that i'm gonna stick to crosswords myself okay I'm glad uh, we can stir this kind of this kind of absolutely, discussion. Absolutely, absolutely. As as I like to say in wordplay, your mileage may vary. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Why M M V? I'm sorry, Dawn Up North says uh, 56 across is irritate. That's the bug. And you know what? Oh. It's a different kind of bug here. What? It could be insect. It's 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 the way I bug you when I make jokes about your age. Right? I don't, I don't get irritated <laughs> by it. I only get irritated when people say I shouldn't be editing the B for my age. But that's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I've never said that. that so. Shout out to the haters. Lamax um, Dub, Lamax Dub, and a few other people who have said this that uh, 31 across is on the left. There we go. We were looking. An at amazing proper way to pass. And by the way, I live in New Jersey near Route 22. You know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> so, that is that is a crazy highway. Um, okay, so we have a lot of people agreeing on reads, and uh, Freak Lunchbox says, I have a few pending submissions to the New York Times. Fingers Woo! 
Awesome. Bring it. Bring That's it. Great. Bring we, it. We will get to them. Write about it. What's that? I said I can't wait to write about them. I hope <laughs> I hope you're very successful. And Sam, would you uh, like to talk a little bit about the submission, where the submission guideline sheet is online? Yeah. People would like to submit to the New York Times. I really should keep this URL tucked away in my brain, oh, and yet for sorry. some reason I don't. But please know that if you have ever wanted to construct a crossword for the New York Times, it's all open submission. This puzzle today was submitted to us by a constructor. Any constructor who wants to submit a puzzle can submit a puzzle to us. Yep. Uh, we have an online, a digital submissions portal now. Frankly, if you just Google New York Times crossword submissions, um, it should be the first thing that comes up where you can attach a PDF of your puzzle grid and list of clues, the whole manuscript. And one of us, on, one of the five of us on the uh, Times Puzzles editorial team will be, at least one of us will happily take a look at your puzzle. I'm one of those five and I'm really excited to take a look. So Absolutely. Yeah, send your puzzles our way, please. And please, we have please. a lot of, we have a lot of uh, love for uh, Sid Sivakumar's uh, website. By the way, Sid has a lot of great uh, crosswords on his site if you'd like to go. And uh, that uh, puzzle guy posted it. His uh, web address is sidsgrids.com if you'd like to go solve some terrific uh, indie puzzles. That, uh, we're, very, we're very pro indie community. We really we're very are. pro indie community. I just a little footnote to that too is I really have appreciated in addition to just the puzzles themselves. I think Sid lends some excellent insights for all the cross world to hear whether you're, you're a time solver, whether you're an indie puzzle solver or not. Mm -hmm. And I think I, I really, I really revere um, the things that Sid brings to the table, his ideas, his puzzles. And yeah, I think you should check them out too. So we have a couple of people, people are really, uh, oh, and, and Freak Lunchbox says loving the digital submissions. Thank Oof, you. As I, are I we, think, my goodness. I think one of the best changes of the last year is the fact that they are accepting digital submissions now. We yeah. have a lot of people who are, are throwing guesses in the comments. Many people are saying that 40, I hate to say that many people are saying, but mm -hmm. quite a few of our viewers have guessed that 41 across is Arab. Is Arab, then when EG. There you go. We have, this is an intro, I love clues like this too, you know, it's you, whether you learned something or it was a gimme to you or somewhere in between, that's great. I just yes. think it's interesting to read a clue about it, Oman's flag is. displaying a curved dagger known as a kanjar. Forgive me if I'm mispronouncing it. I'd love to know more about this myself. Um, Same. And, and, you know, that's what I do for a lot of uh, wordplay columns is I will, if I don't know something, I will look it up so I can write an explainer for readers. And Liz Plowman knew it was um, Oman. Excellent. That's great. Yeah. Um, Eli Darrington is with us and says 33 down is team. Team player, indeed. Exactly. You know and look at this. This is another one of those theme entries. Yeah, Sing under pressure. pressure. Huh. Making American Idol, but that's not it. I don't know. Um, um, Powell Hauser says 55 across is happy. Let's see. So 54 across. Oh, whoops. In a jubilant fashion. So I like that guess. Honestly, it fits guess. the same number of letters. One subtlety I'd be care I'd be wary of is the the way this clue is phrased is mm -hmm. it seems to indicate an adverb like in a jubilant fashion would be like happily or elatedly. So I'm not sure happy works for that perfectly. But it's it's a great guess nonetheless. It right? is. And, so, and I have to say that, you know, you got to be in it to win it. If you don't guess, you're never going to solve. Exactly. So and that, that. that was not meant to be like a takedown of a guess. No, not at, all, like, not at all. I just want to reiterate. Some people get very shy about commenting, um, not particularly in the puzzle community, but new people. And, um, you know, I think as human beings, we have a real um, aversion to appearing to be wrong. And that's not really what puzzles are about. Oops. Again, it's not, <laughs> it's a, somebody didn't update. They <laughs> never do. Yeah, that's okay. Um, somebody, um, 
you know, we're, we like it when people put their guesses in and please don't be afraid to, to please, guess. please, 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 please. Correct. Uh, you can learn something from it and it makes you part of the community. And we're, we're very happy that you're here. Exactly. Uh, um, let's see. Eli Darrington says 47 down is Nolo. Nolo, I will never learn the pronunciation of this because it is Nolo ten. You know you who should ask. You should ask Will. Will Shorts went to law school. Ask Will with his with his JD from uh, yes. yeah, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Um It's the only legal phrase that I know. Actually, <laughs> it shows up all the time in crosswords. Is what exactly. that's out here. It shows up all the time. Aww. So again, you solve more crosswords, you'll just be able to fill that one right in. Um, Megatonic FM says we all heart the SIDS grids. Oh, we do too. That's really we do, nice. We do. Uh, I was just going to say that some with the W here is a few. And I think we can go, I think we should start knocking out these downs here through the second answer. Deb. Okay, so then we can start to make sense of what's going on. Let's see. Well, part of a cabinet could be a cabinet member or it could be a drawer. It for could a be a drawer. Like Thank goodness yes, we have five of those six letters. Thank God. Uh, judge of the Bible. Well, you know, the only biblical name I know of that's three letters and ends in L-I is Eli. Is Eli? Indeed. Um, how about that's nonsense? It's not uh-oh. It's not uh-oh. It's actually not even oh. It's poo. It's one poo. letter poo-poo, right? Poo. <laughs> Yes, oh, it's an interesting and, and different way to clue poo. Usually it's clu, uh, clued as Winnie the. Exactly. We're Which, Again, it's Thursday. No we wanted to challenge you a little bit more. So at least we had some letters to help us there. Exactly. Uh, Freak Lunchbox says, honestly, I had happy in that hot slot for a while. I think we all did. You yeah, know, that, it's a good guess. I mean, it works with the A, right? Like it makes sense. <laughs> um, Larry V says 57 down is Tony Romo, who was on the Indeed. Super Bowl broadcast just this past Sunday. Boom. We, we, the cross world was very happy seeing Tony Romo's fame transcend more than just what he did in the Dallas Cowboys uniform. <laughs> So in, in, well, in grids for, for years to come, I hope. Hang, hang on here, oh, Sam. I, I know that we're trying to solve around this. And um, I, I just noticed that up at 17 across, we have comma, die, die, F. Comma, die, die, F. Well, I don't know what that means. Die, die, F. Hey, no, right? <laughs> maybe, maybe it's a Passover thing. If anybody has ever, you know, sat through the 16th hour of a Seder. <laughs> they know that song. Um, but it's interesting. Why Why is die repeated? I don't know. Yeah. And it's shaded too. So clearly there's a reason why Alex Eaton Saunders, um, you know, indicate like these words are shaded. Look at this. Look, look, look. 25 across. There's elf elf. elf. I, that has to be it's elf. Be. That gives us what? Betcha and by that's golly wow. Rich, yes, yes, definitely. What is sorry, the glasses. program? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Go for it. No, 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 no. I was just saying sorry, glasses people. 12th, 12th elf program followed in Alcoholics Anonymous. Well, that's 12 steps. I that's know that. That's 12 steps, but that's not what we're writing in here. I, I don't no. understand. Tw elf Could it be a rebus? We just had a rebus last week. We, oh. Surely we wouldn't do that again, right? I hope not. You know, in a sense, in a very loose sense, this is a rebus because of what we have to do with the great out square. Indeed, indeed, so indeed. We have to, to transform them somehow. But how? What? This has to be know. 12 steps. Lori's got it. Lori's got it. But we're going to, we're going to, uh, we're going to wait on that. We're going to come back. If, Deb, what if I were to tell you that at least just so we can let our solvers start working out what's going on. If I were to tell you that this was infests. So then we could at least see this pattern. We know that it's 12 steps, T-W-E-L-V-E-S, T-E-P-S. Maybe that'll help us crack what's I going think on I with just these got it. squares. I think I just got it along with Lori. Me and Lori, we've got it. What's going on? Do we wait a bit? Should, should we poke around at this one? Would we could, maybe we could. I mean, you know, I know, and, and Valeria Silvestre, who is in Italy, probably doesn't know. It says she doesn't know the word pratfall. Mm -hmm. um, Valeria, for, and for those of you outside the United States, a pratfall 
is a deliberate slip and fall for comedic effect. Oh, you don't say. Yeah, Freak Lunchbox just went, oh, that's what we call the aha moment. And it is probably one of the best feelings ever is when it finally, when the little ball finally falls into the hole in your brain. Exactly. And you, and you get it. Um, you know, Marilyn Johnson asks a, a, a very cromulent question. Um, she says, is this the opposite of a rebus? Gosh, I don't know. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll, we don't have like crosswords, layman's terms, whatever the equivalent of that is. We don't, we don't really have a name for this. <laughs> I don't think no, we labeled no. it as such. It's just, that's what Alex Eaton Saunders, this guy, he comes up with so many different ideas we've never seen before, not even variations right. on old ideas. This was a, a mind blower and it's admittedly heady. I mean, Deb, you said this is comedic effect. So I did. the way it should be written in the grid is C-O-M-E-D-I-C-E-F-F-E-C-T. Right? But that's not how that's not how we're being asked to write it in, is it, Sam? It is not. So we're ha we're I guess C O M E. So we're missing D, D like D I C E are being replaced by these shaded squares, and then it continues. Right. Is there however, some sort of relationship that is however, going on? However, if we take one die and another die, that means we've got a plural, and the plural of a single die is dice. And if you write in C-O-M-E-D-I-C-E -E, and then follow it up with F-F-E-C-T, what you get is comedic effect. <laughs> Damn. Don't we screenshot that now. Right. Um, I'm sure somebody did say. <laughs> That's... So, so, okay, so th let's do it again. Let's do it again. Well, what's the next one? Liz, Liz Plowman just had a big aha. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> she also says that nine across is ill. So let's just fill okay, in let's that. Let's knock that out. Woes are ills that gives us low LLCs and got oh, gotten to the oh, swing for sap. Womp, womp. That was good. Is, was that a will clue? Uh, I wish I knew. I, 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 that I seems can... like a will clue. Yes, yeah, I can, with 99.9% .9 confidence, say that was either a Joel clue or a Tracy clue. Tracy oh, loves her be. Yeah, she writes really, Tracy uh, Bennett writes really good clues. Yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, let's see, uh, scrolling down, Nicole Xavier mm -hmm. says, man, man, men. Oh, 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 really? Oh, you don't say that this should be man, man to become men. So what? what, what is this one? Sing well, under pressure. This one's a little twisty. This one. That is a, that is a cruel clue. You, Very if cruel. you sing, that is slang for ratting people out mm -hmm. to law enforcement. So if you sing under pressure, what you're doing is name you. You will be naming names or name names. So that is N A M E N. The plural of man. Man is men. A M E S. Who? Right. Who? Now, Freak Lunchbox says that clip should be listed under the aha moment Google search. You know what's funny about that, Freak Lunchbox? The bumper that we uh, use to open the show is really just a string of some of our celebrity guests having <laughs> their own aha moment. Whoa! And, and me just laughing. You know? Yes. Because <laughs> what else can you do? This is awesome. Yes. Yeah, and me force feeding Sam sugar, but that was last year's Halloween <laughs> show. Exactly. Uh, we'll do Dawn it again. We can get back in person. I hope so. Dawn up north says best crossword trick ever. Love it. Oh, there that's go. great. That's great. Go big or go home. And right? people are starting to really get it now. We have some people saying, um, let's see, that elf and elf is elf, elves. So yep. twelve steps. T W E L V E S. L -V -E -S. E -S. T -E, T e P S indeed, very good, very good. Wild. Now, uh, go for it. Oh, I'm sorry. Larry V says he almost got thirty nine down. What is thirty nine down? We're almost there. Oh, I love this clue. Props, so to speak. It sounds like it's a plural. Yeah. Think about what else props can mean. 
Well, it is a plural, but it's not the kind of prop you would use in a movie. Yeah, yeah. It would be, if you're giving prop, if I give you props, which you rightly deserve, and so does, so does Isaac, um, (laughs) I'm giving you credit. Giving you credit. Exactly. Let's give Alex some great credit for making this puzzle. Let's give you solvers some great credit for cracking what, this has to be one of, this is possibly the hardest Thursday trick we've done this year. Hasn't been a long year yet, but it's going to be tough to beat, I got to say. That's right. Um, Chris Butko says 49 across is boast. Is boast. You talk a big game. You you take your own horn. And we have a lot of people who are agreeing on credit. I liked this clue, Deb, if we want some gears to start turning. Something kids (laughs) often lose. I love a little riddle like this. Their gloves. Yeah, from this time of year. Their Their homework. Their backpacks. They make your parents lose their, their marbles. That's right. Um, I know I did. <laughs> right. Uh, Welsh, Nana Kay, and a bunch of other people have also, just to skip around, uh, says 54 across is gaily. Is gaily. That's the one we're looking for. Gosh, I shared the A and yeah. the second Y with happy. That could have been a trap. Understandable. Yeah. It, it, and it's and you're in the neighborhood. It is happy, but it's it really has to do with matching the tenses. Exactly. Of the tense of the clue to the tense of the answer. Uh, let's see. Nesberg or any Esberg has gotten the last uh, uh, theme clue. Where magazines may be laid out. Uh, something table? Where do you have a lot of magazines, you know, maybe an art book or two? Well, I can I can tell you what he said. Sure, or, go for it. Or are they? Please. I don't know. Uh, it, uh, any Esberg says it's coffee table uh, because the answer is foot foot. So, oh, so, yeah, so we can actually do this one backwards. So if we know it's coffee table, that hides feet. F-E-E-T, yes. spanning the end of coffee, the beginning of table. So how'd you say we break that up, Deb? It's foot foot. <laughs> foot foot. And I was wrong. These aren't all six letter shaded no, it patterns. And this one's an eight letter one. Go big or go home. At right, the end, right. right. And uh, Eli Derrington has it as well. Nice. Oh, I love Deb. Your twin clues, as you say. We've got yes. apartment listing info and apartment listing info. Oh, Boom. there you go. Boom. What are these? Uh, I, I would <laughs> say that Jesus. one that you have, yeah, rooms. 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 Uh, Marilyn Johnson and Freak Lunchbox uh, believe that 42 down is baby fat. Is baby, baby fat. And you know what that A is? Baby fat. I'm still waiting. <laughs> yeah. That, that A is going to really help us. Now that blank, blank, um, yeah, it's got to be area, right? Yeah. The area there. Uh, they may be set aside in a collaboration. If one would hope. Yeah. Um, they, so that's, let's put an S there at the end. It's indicating a plural. So why not try ending this in a plural? Sure. Blank, blank, O-S. Crossing part oh, of Italy. Oh, part of Italy where, where Calabria is found. Valeria, we need you. <laughs> yeah, please. Um, like some glasses is anti. I, I'm not a glasses wearer, Deb, so. Oh, I'm sorry. Anti. You have to help me with this one. Fog. It's anti-fog, excuse me. By the me. way, Sam, I discover for all the glasses wearers out there, I am very pro wearing a mask. And I will tell you that I have discovered that if you wash your glasses using hand soap and then rinse them and dry them, your glasses are much less likely to fog up when you wear okay. a mask. Okay. Pro tips from the pro crossroads. Tip. There's a reason why Deb doubles her crossword career with wellness as a theme in general. You, know, you learn to pick up things like this as you read words. I don't understand so, why that done. career never worked out. <laughs> um, so Jack of all spades 98 would like to know, hey, Sam, is this the lowest word count Thursday in a while? 72 is in themeless territory. That's a, you know what? That I, I love that I'm a data head myself. I've been before I had this job when it comes to the New York Times crossword. Let's think mm-hmm. about this. It is, it's, it's definitely on the low end in a while might be a little bit strong because it, it is rarer than usual. You tend to see Thursdays be a little more wide open just because constructors making these crazy gimmicks might also have room to put in things like apparats and irritate and anti-fog Maharishi on the left, infests, etc. So 72 is on the low end. And for those of you that aren't into 
that crossword constructing a themeless puzzle is a puzzle can be themeless if it is 72 words or 72 answers or fewer, whereas all themed mm -hmm. puzzles per our specs allow you to go up to 78. So in short, Alex is stunting on us a little <laughs> bit saying, eh, I can make a low word count 72 worder and have it be this crazy themed puzzle. Yep. Um, but yeah, it's on the low side. I wouldn't say it's the lowest ever, but you're probably right about a while. I guess, yeah, there are probably so. a few other 72 now, words. In the we have a lot of people who are guessing uh, the uh, that across clue, which is 65 across. Uh -huh. uh, we're going to put the last letter in, and then we're going to reopen the puzzle and uh, go over the theme one more time and some of the real highlights of the grid. because this was Excellent. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, I'm a motor mouth with this stuff. Not at all. We don't mind. So the answer was toe, <laughs> that the uh, Calabria is in the toe of the boot, which That's Italy is shaped like a boot. And egos was, what was the clue there? They may uh, be set aside uh, in a collaboration. Woo! Absolutely. Tough. You Straight got you got to set it. those egos aside. Uh, Freak Lunchbox says, you'll see a Thursday puzzle soon by Sam with 64 words. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I've tried, I've tried a 66 word. I, I have one that is sitting in the back burner. So, yeah. You know, always absolutely. up to new things. <laughs> um, so tell me, tell me a little bit about this theme, uh, Sam, and, and, you know, just give us the TLDR on yes, it. Yes, exactly. In a your... nutshell, acorn yes, style. In a nutshell. Um, the TLDR, Alex Eaton Saunders decided to just mess around a little bit with plurals. One was just not enough. Um, in this puzzle, the shaded squares, you'll see the duplicative die, die, elf, elf, man, man, foot, foot. But it should be comedic effect. That is because we're supposed to parse the letters D-I-C-E, normally found in comedic, D-I-C-E, starting off effect. It's kind of hidden there. We're supposed to parse it as die and die rather than the word dice. Right. Similarly, there's elves in 12 steps, I'm extra enunciating it here, that's meant to be, that's broken up in the grid as TW elf elf attempts. Right, because the plural of elf is elves. Exactly. This one is men, name men names, but you have to write it in here as name, man, man, or it's supposed to be that string M-E-N. Finally, right. the cool, the craziest one, just because it's longer, is yeah. cop feet table, feet being the plural, so you have to write it in as foot, foot. I keep clicking around because I want the shading to show up. Right. Um, but there you go. Wild theme. Great fill to keep yeah. the solver's attention the whole way there. Again, I mean, I'm so partial to, so partial to, I just love Maharishi and on the left, nods off, the interesting right. apparatus. And really on the left, crazy puzzle. I think it was Kathy Odetahan who said that she liked the fact that on the left is actually on the left of the grid. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Probably unintentional. That would have been disorienting if it was in on the right. Exactly. Unlike this answer. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this puzzle. I mean, this is what... Not every Thursday is this crazy. So don't worry. We just like our Thursdays a little harder than Wednesday, a little right. easier than Friday. Though it just happens to be the day when we run our craziest themed gimmicks because tomorrow, Friday, is themeless day. Same with Saturday. Sundays are the jumbo themed puzzles. Exactly. Um, but we hope you had fun with this. If you're a newer solver dipping your toe into the water, you're 60 down in the water for the first time, uh, I hope you see the marvel that is the New York Times Thursday that personally sucked uh -huh. me into it from a very young age. And if you're back, you're a grizzled vet, uh, I hope this fit the bill for you and more. So Kathy Odehan, yeah, it says it was a triple cromulent Thursday. It was a triple cromulent Thursday. We did say it three times, didn't we? We did. We four because I said um, it right now. We, uh, we, we're so glad that you guys could join us today. Uh, we want to just let you know that next week, our special guest will be uh, the Times' very own Jamal Jordan. That's right. Uh, yes, who is uh, the author of a book that will be coming out in May. And we are very excited to have him with us. Uh, he's, um, he's on Twitter. I, I don't remember his handle off the top of, top it's, of my it's, head. It's Lost Black Boy. 
at Lost Black Boy on Twitter. He's hilarious. Uh, please follow, follow him. If, give him a follow if you haven't. And you can uh, meet him here next week on Crosswords Live. Uh, Sam, thank you very much. Thanks as always, Deb. It's been a pleasure, everybody. And thank you, and Solvers, for joining us. Absolutely. This is Deb Amlin and Sam Azurski for the New York Times saying happy.